Please come outside with your hands in the air. Do it immediately. We're following breaking news for you at 4. We are learning of an apparent standoff in the area of 18th Street in Fargo. No Fargo PD apparently surrounded a garage on that street. And we're also learning that police have deployed some tear gas into a garage with a person who was or is or even was apparently barricaded. Now, right now, we want to send things on over to Valley News Team's Gabriel Osler, who is live at the scene. Gabriel, what can you tell us right now? Yeah, Bobby, things have changed dramatically in the last half hour since I spoke to you. As you can see, no more police cars. Everybody has completely cleared out. Traffic is now flowing normally through this street. No more blockade, no nothing. We did see the person in question that was barricaded in that garage get taken out and put into an ambulance and taken away. The ambulance did not have its emergency flashers on, so it's not clear exactly what kind of condition they were in. We couldn't get close enough to really tell, but People in this neighborhood were very surprised when this was all happening. We spoke to some of them to get their reaction. Nope, nope, everything's pretty quiet around here. Yeah. Quiet neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So I'm surprised to see them all out here, but. So, yeah, uh, there was definitely a large presence of people gathered around when this, these barricades were still up, trying to get a glimpse of what was going on. Some people were expressing some displeasure that they weren't able to get to their houses on this uh, block of this area. But now, as I said, everything has gone back to normal. We're going to still stay out here for our broadcast all through the rest of the evening, though, giving you updates as we find them. Bobby, back to you. That was Valley News Live's Gabriel Osler reporting. And again, we are following this breaking news for you minute by minute. As you see, though, the scene there changed dramatically. Now stay with us throughout the night as we continue to follow this breaking news.